Okay, now that we have a good idea of how data is broken up into multiple tables and why we call it a relational view of things, let's take a look at the larger data set that we already have been working with, the NYC Flights 13 package, which contains several tables. Till now, we've only been looking at one of those tables called flights. In fact, this package has several other tables that expand upon the details that we see in the flights table. So let's look at all of them and then apply some of the learning that we've already had in terms of joins and so on to some of those tables. Okay, so NYC Flights 13 package has several tables. Of course, if you load library tidyverse and then library NYC Flights 13, NYC Flights 13, this package make, makes available several tables to us. One table we are already familiar with is flights. We've done a lot of work with this table. It gives us information about all the flights that occurred in the year 2013 and which originated in one of the three New York City airports. LaGuardia, JFK or Newark. Okay, so this table as we already know has information about uh, the carrier of the of, of who operated a particular flight for, for example United Airlines, Delta, US Airways etc. We have information about the tail num which is the actual uh, identifier of the specific aircraft that was used for a particular flight it also has information about the origin and the destination airports. So all of these are right now only codes, right? Suppose you want to find more information about the specific aircraft that was used in a particular flight. That is going to come from another table called planes, okay? If you want to get more information about the specific airport origin or destination, that is going to come from another table called uh, airports. Okay, so there are many such tables from which we can get more details. So there's another table, for example, called weather, from which we can find out what were the weather conditions at the time the flight happened. Okay, so you've got tables called flights. You've got uh, a table called flights that we already know. You've got a table called airlines, airports, planes, weather. Okay, so there are all of these tables which will help us to even further deeply explore the flights table. Okay, let's take a pictorial view of these various tables. Okay, so you've got our flights table and we already know the flights table has many columns and some of the important columns are shown here. So year, month, day, hour, flight and then origin airport, destination airport, tail num of the aircraft that made the flight carrier which indicates which airline operated the flight and many other columns which are just shown by dot dot dot. Okay, now the airport table contains information about each individual airport, right? So for example, you can get the latitude, longitude of the airport and some other information, okay? So, uh, but every airport is identified uniquely by an FAA airport code. So for example, for Newark, it's EWR. For JFK, of course, it is JFK. For LaGuardia, it is LGA. And for example, for Atlanta, it's ATL and so on. So you've got these, uh, this information and that is what is the primary key in the airports table, right? It's FAA code uniquely identifies a particular airport, okay? And of course, origin is uh, in flights, you've got the origin which has the code of the uh, origin airport and destination is also the code of the destination airport. So these arrows from FAA to origin and FAA to destination basically say that the information in the origin and destination columns of flight of the flights table are nothing but the corresponding values in the airports table, right? So if you want further details about the origin airport, take the origin value and go into the FAA table match up with the, uh, go into the airports table, match up the FAA column and get more information, right? So this is an example where the two columns are not called by the same name in the table, right? Earlier we had in shipments, we had SNO for a supplier number and in the supplier table also we had SNO for a supplier number. The two columns matched. Here you see that the airport code in the flights, origin airport code is called origin. Whereas in airports, an airport code is called an FAA, 
Okay, so when we match it, we now when we join these, we will now have to explicitly specify the columns by which we are matching, joining. Okay, for the connection between the flight stable and the plane stable, the column name is called tail num. Okay, there uh, the column name is exactly the same in both. Okay, similarly, the f within the flight stable, the the carrier, which is the airline that operated it has the name column name carrier and the airlines uh, table also is called uh, has a column called carrier okay so once again the column names are matching now when it comes to the weather table uh, it's a little bit more complicated in the sense that the weather table contains information about the weather conditions at the origin airport not for any other airport okay it contains information about the weather conditions at the origin airport and it has information for every hour not for every second or every minute or something it has information for every hour of every day so for example you got year month day hour and of course there are three airports that we are talking about three origin airports so it also has the origin airport code so for example you may have let's say January uh, 2013 January 1 5 a.m. which is 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. the 5 a.m. weather reading okay at JFK so you'll have the same thing at EWR same thing at LaGuardia and then for 6 a.m. again you will have the three uh, JFK LaGuardia and EWR etc etc okay that's what this table is okay so in order to come to look at the uh, weather situation for a particular flight okay it's going to be calculated by year month day hour okay the flight table has a column called hour that can that tells us what was the hour at which the flight took place okay not the exact time but which hour so for example all the flights which took off between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. will have the hour of 5 okay so if you want to find out the weather conditions for a particular flight you join that with the weather table on these for these columns right so year month day hour origin and year month day hour origin so if you join by those columns then you'll be able to find out the weather conditions under which every single flight operated at least when it came to the origin airport okay so this is what we call as a uh, pictorial representation of the important tables in the NYC flights 13 package and uh, the connections between the various uh, tables you know how if we join these tables how we are supposed to join them by what columns okay so let's take an example once again a different pictorial representation okay so this is your flight table year month day hour origin destination carrier flight tail num and many other columns that I'm not showing okay I'm only showing the columns that are involved in joints okay so you've got airlines it's got a column called carrier and that is that matches with the column called carrier here you've got planes got a column called tail number that matches with this column called tail number you've got a table called airports and it's got a column called FAA and both origin and destination map to that particular column FAA because FAA contains all the airport codes and of course the origin is the airport code of the origin destination is the airport code of the destination right so both of these columns connect to this okay and finally you how do you connect these two to weather we've already said that we are going to connect them by all of these columns year month day hour origin and year month day hour origin etc okay so that gives you an idea of all the information that is contained in all of these tables right now you can understand how it is sensible to break up the data into multiple tables it doesn't make sense to store all the data in one single table although we may want to do that for analysis right so when we try to analyze the data what we'll do is we'll join the appropriate tables and then pipe the result to whatever analysis we are performing right we generally will not create a table that consists of joins of other things right because it's only temporary we want it only for a particular analysis so we join it and then forget about it now we may think that because you know for example the flight table and the airlines table have a common column called carrier and the 
col the column is actually got the same name in both of those tables or similarly tail num tail num here uh, etc because they have a common uh, column name we might think that we could just join them without explicitly mentioning the column names in reality we have to be a little careful because some of these tables have other columns which are common as well so for example the airlines table may have a column called year I don't know if it does right uh, for, I'm sure that the plane table has a column called year okay and of course the flight table has a column called year but the two year columns mean very different things in the plane table the column called year represents the year of manufacture of that particular plane whereas in the flight table the column called year of course we know is the year month day of the day on when the flight occurred okay so the column names may be the same but the meanings are very different right so if you simply try to join flights with planes without mentioning the column names then the system is going to try to join by tail num and year and of course that doesn't make any sense because it's only tail num that is meaningfully common to both of these tables right so we have to exercise a lot of caution when performing joins okay uh, so in these cases we would explicitly need to mention the columns by which we are joining which of course I have not shown you yet how to do we will see those things shortly okay uh, so here we are, I'm just asking some imaginary questions here imagine you want to draw on a map a line from the origin to the destination for each flight what tables would you need to combine okay assuming of course that uh, an approximate line uh, origin to destination would require us on a map so we need to know the latitude and longitudes and that information is contained only in the planes table right so obviously planes will the planes table will give us uh, the tail number okay the flight table will tell us the origin and destination airport and the airport table will give us the latitude and longitude okay now clearly we don't really need the tail number for uh, to, to indicate that that would be too complicated but these are all the tables that we would need just to make sure that we are comfortable with the relationships between the various tables let's consider a few other questions the relationship between weather and airports is not shown in the diagram that we saw earlier is there a relationship if so how will you show it right clearly the weather table has if you go back and look at the diagram right the weather table has a column called origin and of course that is as per this that is really an airport code okay so clearly there is a connection between the weather table and the airports table okay and this diagram doesn't show that mainly because the weather information in this weather table consists of only weather information for the three New York airports okay not for all airports of course that information is available somewhere in the FAA we can get it but for the purpose of this example that has got been that has been filtered okay so clearly there is a connection between these two and the question is asking how will you show that connection okay if so how will you show it okay of course you will show it by connecting the FAA column to the origin column because after all the origin is an FAA code that's all it is okay so weather contains information only for the origin NYC airports the three airports if it contained weather records for all airports in USA what additional relation will it define with flights okay so clearly what will happen okay so the additional uh, relationship would be that uh, you know from for the flights okay we would have to combine not just origin but also destination right if this had also information about the destination airports right then the connection would be either year month day hour flight origin or year month day hour flight destination okay so you will join the two things uh, depending on what you're actually looking for